tuna bag. I got no tuna bag. Still got spoon. Spoon in my hands. It's a tuna bag with spoon. And then I look at here and I see. Oh, I see it. You can't see it. It's too dark. Oh, you gotta see it. Boyfriend, just wanted to say hi. Just wanted to say hello. You know, it's been it's been a little while. Just wanted to let you know things are going great. Things are going great for me, really. Things are going really great. Uh, like yesterday, I went to bed at 6:30 p.m. And I never used to do that when I was when I had a when I had a girlfriend. Hey guys, today we're going to talk about our favorite swear words. If that sounds interesting to you, stick around. You're in for a treat. Roll the intro. Chiz Boy 3K Snuff in HD. Welcome back, guys. Now, I have a favorite swear word, but before I get into that, what's your favorite swear word? Is it the same as mine? Pause the video and leave me a comment with your favorite swear word. I'm really interested to see if it's the same as mine. No cheating, okay? 
Alright, welcome back from the comments. My favorite swear word, are you ready for this, is shit. I just like it. So, how did you do? Do you like the same swear word as me? Leave me a comment and let me know. And while you're down there, don't forget to like, like, subscribe, and freaking murder that bell icon. It really helps with the YouTube with the YouTube out it really helps with the YouTube algorithm it really helps with the YouTube algorithm but most of all share this video with your friends and family and as always stay classy ASMR channel. Um, it, it, I've really been wanting to get into this whole ASMR thing for a long time now, but I couldn't afford all the equipment. So, uh, and, and just recently I finally came into some money and I could finally afford a microphone, but I couldn't afford, you know, like a mic stand or a pop filter. So I, I rather than just wait for longer until I could get more money, I just bought the mic on its own without a, a, a stand or a pop filter. So I'm just going to roll with that and make it my gimmick. This is no stand, no pop filter ASMR, and, uh, you know, I really hope you guys enjoy it. I, it, it's been my dream to launch this channel. No, no mic stand, no pop filter ASMR. So be, everyone be sure to subscribe and, and click that bell so you get notifications every time you upload. Terry's new lawnmower is really quite a shower It does what it's meant to do Terry's new lawnmower is better than my mower And it's got flame decals too There's nothing in the world that I could want more than to have that lawnmower My wife would be so proud, I'm positive she'd love me more once I show her I snuck out late at night while everyone was sleeping Tied I tiptoe up to Terry's shed I flick on the light and my hair stands up in front Cause I see Terry out of bed no, get out of my shed. He started up his mower and I screamed and then he ran me over I shed a single tear because I'm just so glad that I got to know her Fallen upon good times. Yeah. Have the cruel hardships of life subsided just long enough for you to catch a glimpse of the sunrise? Yeah. Do you wake up in the morning after a long night's rest to the sudden and yeah. comforting realization that you're indescribably grateful for the contributions of your spouse and or offspring? Uh -huh. I'm here to tell you that you're not alone. Mm -hmm. What if I told you that I could make your life a living hell? That's right. Your life could easily be transformed into a one-way 1986 New York City subway ride to a hellish landfill comparable to the afterlife that eagerly awaits you. Sound too good to be Sound true? Too to be true? <laughs> Think again. What? Hi, I'm Chuck Gumbo, and I've devoted my life to perfecting my now world-renowned three-week 16-step program, which is why, for the charitable price point of an endless and indefinite recurring payment of $29.99, I can ruin your life. That's how that yes, you heard correctly. I will personally and professionally desecrate everything that she once held dear. It's just that simple. Ask yourself this simple question. Do your children okay. cherish the time that they spend with you? Yeah. Are your thoughts flooded with fond memories when they cross your mind? Yeah. Look no further. 
When I'm through with you, your formerly beloved spawn will hold the image of you in a deep and cavernous place of resentment and repressed rage, as they wonder just why you ripped away from their tiny hands any prospects of a normal development. I promise, with God as my witness, that I will tear your children away from you, and I can guarantee within all realms of possibility yeah. that you'll never get them back. Yeah. You heard me. You'll never see your children again. Yeah. Not until your last breath billow out of your swollen mouth will you ever realize exactly why. <laughs> Are you in good health? Do your biannual checkups confirm that your body is fully intact, in working condition, vital organs and all? Yeah. I will hire a pack of emotionally detached crack smoking bums to beat you into a bleeding pulp of submission and agony. Yeah. If you had any doubts about the efficiency yeah. of my three week 16 step program, I did. let me clarify. For just $29.99, I will make you virtually unrecognizable. It's not that much. Is your marriage structurally sound? Yeah. Have you spent countless years cultivating the foundations of a mutually fulfilling relationship with the man and or woman you love? I have. Do you wake up in your soft bed just early enough to watch the dawn slip through the windows of your spacious home, leaving you restless as you realize just how incomplete you would be without your partner who enchants you while the glow of morning carefully positions itself across their beautiful eyes? Not anymore. Oh. In the dead of night, yeah. I will methodically break into your home undetected. Yeah. I will sedate and abduct your unsuspecting lover to then be subsequently low priority mailed with yeah. a suitcase to an offshore warehouse full of unhinged HIV positive chimpanzees. This is so the location great. of which I will not disclose to you under any circumstance. <laughs> but wait, that's not all. In a very hasty fashion, I will surgically install directly into your ear canals live audio feed of the hoarse and desperate screams of the love of your life being drowned out by the echoing cries of multiple unrelenting and diseased primates. Oh, yeah! Make no mistake, if you call right now, I will haphazardly yeah. modify your acoustic passages okay. in order to render you utterly okay. devoid of solace in your crippled state as the disturbed waves of sound beat against your eardrums in metaphoric tandem with the beating fists of likewise disturbed chimps. As you lay battered and broken, you'll ask God with shortness in your breath yeah. and razor-sharp noise in your skull yeah. why the lives of everyday people will continue in mundane insignificance, yeah. why their world continues yeah. to spin obliviously as yours comes to an abrupt and chaotic end, why they don't pick up the phone right now and dial our <laughs> toll free oh my God. Oh God, oh fuck, Jesus Christ. No, 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 shit. Hey, John, over here. Oh, it's just me. Get under here. Oh, Derek, thank God. Move over. What the hell is going on out there, man? Some fucking experiment or something got loose and it's been tearing through the staff under the wing. But... I saw it fucking go through someone, man. Oh, God. Hey, hey, calm down. We're gonna get out of here. Hey, all right. I'm gonna go check to see if it's out of the hall. I'm just gonna take a peek. Oh, jeez. Was that your knee? Shush. Okay, it looks clear. All right, we gotta move while we can. Wait, 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 wait. But listen, this is important. Wait, what is it? We can't stay here that long. Just... Uh... You can't, you can't laugh at this thing. Huh? John, it's killing our friends. What's funny about that? Fuck, I know, I saw that. Just, god damn it. It makes this dumb fucking sound, and if you laugh at it, it gets you, dude. It's like it's stick or something. Okay, alright, hey, hey, I won't laugh. Listen, I think I saw a door in the other room. If we hurry, we could just go out there. <laughs> you know, it really wasn't that funny. That... <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. Sorry, dude.
They're about two inches long and blood red and pissed off all the time. There was a nest in my apartment window swarming with them. I had to kill about four with hairspray until I sourced a free can of insecticide. Last night, at sunset, I spray the scan at the window from the outside and I could literally hear the nest rev up like an engine. So I run inside, but they're actually getting inside through the window. So I quarantine that area and go for a walk, hoping that the brief exposure to poison does them all in. Well, when I came back, my apartment was crawling with half-dead, neurologically disabled wasps wallowing and turning, twisting, Occasionally buzzing and flying, but only for a second. This morning I found maybe 60 wasps, many in a pile at the bottom of the window. But also these huge larvae. They started poking their heads out of the nests. Now they're all wiggling and writhing and falling and flopping. I'm, I'm wondering how long they will have to suffer. That's where I'm at right now. Even this afternoon, I see mostly dead wasps, slowly moving their legs and wings on the ground. I feel kind of bad about it. Guilty. Hi, I bought a movie from you guys, and uh, I want a refund. What movie did you buy? Prometheus. Just doesn't make any sense to me. What do you mean? It doesn't make any sense to you? It just doesn't make any sense. It's just mind-boggling. I don't know how. It, you know, it just doesn't make sense. I just like my money back. So you just don't like the movie? No, it just doesn't make any sense. Yeah, we, we can't do refunds for that. Well, listen here, if you're not going to give me the refund, I'm going to come in there, I'm going to make a whole big mess. I'm going to start throwing shit around. I'm getting mad just thinking about it. Why, why would you do that? Because Ridley Scott is a hack, and this movie doesn't make any sense, and I'm real disappointed. Okay, so, <clears throat> so unfortunately though, we just have the movies and the music here, we just make it available for people. So if he made a bad movie, then you have an issue with him. I want right? triple my money back. You want triple your money back? For my time and uh, all my mental energy that went to this, I need quadruple back. At quadruple the back. All right. And can you bought it at help, the. Can you just help me out here, please? I'm just trying to help me understand, because I just don't get it. We don't. We don't do any refunds. Nope. Okay, that's our, that's our company policy. We've never done refunds. Oh. If, if, if the movie's defective in some way, then we'll exchange it for another one. But if you just don't like the movie, unfortunately, uh, there's nothing we can do about it. It's defective. I mean, it doesn't make sense. 
if you exchange it, it's not going to be any different. Well, no, because it's not, it's not defective. You're just saying that you don't like the movie. I was taking down notes. When did you buy it from here? Just a week ago. I had a whole whiteboard, and I was writing down my notes. You know, there's an old saying in, in this business. If you buy an Elton John CD and you don't like it, go talk to Elton John. So you're saying I should kill Ridley Scott? <sighs> well... I, I'm sure there's other ways you could express your dissatisfaction aside from killing the director. Okay, you've given me a wonderful idea. I'm gonna go kill Ridley Scott. No, you're the one who said that. I didn't say that. Thank you for leading me on the right path to kill Ridley Scott. Thank who you. Who is this? Who is this? All right, listen up, you punks. I'm still eating my dinner. To you, it may just be Halloween night, but for me, it's still my Taco Thursday. When I am ready for you, I will turn on the porch light. No porch light, no candy. You think you punks can handle that? My wife, my dinner is getting cold, and you punks with your lazy costumes and your butt rape t-shirts are just gonna have to wait. Look for the light! ask me what I think about you know, I can never really give a straight answer, but, I mean, yeah, it, feel, it feels, it feels good, I guess, I mean, it, it hurts, it, it definitely, definitely hurts, but you know, at the same time, it feels good, you know, oh, very, very good, it's very, Tender? Sometimes it's tender, yeah. You know, but it, it feels nice. It feels really nice. But like you can, you can never, you, you can't tell anybody that, that can't, you know, relate to you. Though. They might judge you. You know, b- is a very hard thing. Dude, why, why is it fucking up? Why is it fucking up? Okay. Hey. hey, yo, son, what the fuck you know about plosives? And now the sounds of a goblin stubbing his toe.
This is the droopy scream. Hold on. I'm not getting murdered. I'm on my hands and knees. Ah!